Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about somebody that I've talked about a lot. Hopefully this is going to be a short update, but we are going to be talking about the one, the only, Deaf Noodles. But before we get into it, if you have not already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post. And please don't send anybody that we talk about in this video any hate, negativity, nothing like that. That's all totally unnecessary. We're just here to talk about stuff we see on the internet. And today that's going to be a recap and an update about Deaf Noodles. So yeah, Deaf Noodles or Dennis, his downfall was covered a lot on this channel because it was probably, honestly, one of the most jolting downfalls to ever witness in real time. He went from being a very successful channel, at one point getting millions of views on his videos, to struggling to keep what was left of his career afloat. The channel Deaf Noodles at its peak was mo mostly, anyway, well received and covered a variety of stories, all deemed irrelevant news, along with like a palate cleanser at the end. We usually had like some silly kind of music and a cute animal doing something adorable, just to kind of offset the BS of whatever the topics had been discussed in the episode, which was basically any internet drama that people overall don't really know about unless they're already somewhat like plugged into the scene. And for a long time, it was actually very successful. And along with the irrelevant news, he kind of played this whole caricature, complete with a Gilbert Godfrey style voice, a cat ear headphones, and a Minecraft house background. Things that he would jokingly reference him being a cat in a Minecraft house. And after a few years of this being like a very successful formula, it seems that Deaf Noodles kind of hit a wall. The ears came off, the voice completely vanished. Gone was the Minecraft cat with passion. And what was left was a monotone, uninspired middle-aged man who, by the way, had been lying to his audience for a long period of time about his age, telling them he was a decade younger than what he actually was. So when this was the kind of content and the personality that was being presented, People express their disappointment um, with his whole pivot. This apparently made Dennis spiral more. I have entire videos of this on his comedy rows, his scandals with other creators, the multiple bands he's had, and so much more. Honestly, it's really too much to dive into in this video. I was trying to keep it quick today, you know? So a few months ago, after he had kind of been laying low, Dennis started posting like alarming videos and posts on his own subreddit. People were speculating that he was suffering a mental health break while others considered substances. I mean, I think it's, you know, I think it's a combination of the two as there were some comments left by him that flat out saying he was having a Coca-Cola issue, which, yeah, that can lead to some serious mental health issues. This eventually leads into posts where he says he is going to unalive himself and then posting completely ceased. Eventually, it was Keemstar, of all people, who privately reached out and confirmed that Dennis was okay to the public, and then that was just kind of it. No more posts from Dennis, Deaf Noodles, or anything on his comedy club. On Google, the comedy club of his is listed as temporarily closed, and there haven't really been any social media postings of any kind anywhere. At least for a few months, anyway. That's kind of what brings us to today's video. So, the other day, I saw another creator named Fat Sajak posted a video about Deaf Noodles' irrelevant return. Now, I'm just gonna say I have not watched her video, so I don't actually know what she has to say about any of this at all, but it did make me go and check his channel, or at least search for it anyway, because when I put in for the YouTube search, uh, his channel did not come up, just a bunch of videos about him, and when you search for his channel with the channel filter search on, a channel called Irrelevant News is actually at the top of the list with all of his other channels below. Those channels still have the Deaf Noodles name, but now they have no photos, no content, they are completely blank, just sitting there with subscribers. So when I clicked on this Irrelevant News channel, I saw that it started posting about two weeks ago, and it covers the exact same stuff that Deaf Noodles would cover 
in his irrelevant news segments. But when you click on one of these videos, instead of hearing Dennis's voice, this is what you get. Hey y'all, it's Pearl. Which is not what I was expecting at all. It was actually kind of jolting and jarring. Looking at this, one or two things potentially happened. Well, one thing is definitely for sure. This is an AI voice. But my first initial question is, who is controlling this? Is this Dennis, Def Noodles, controlling this? Or did he sell his channel and the whole irrelevant news formula? I could totally see somebody buying the entire package of the segment ideas and everything like that. I did check and it does look like he still is the current owner for the irrelevant news trademark and the Def Noodles trademark. And I believe... Um, holds that until 2028. I did see that he actually has a dead abandoned trademark for a clothing line called Sunset 7426, which was like just random that expired of August of this year. I never heard about that. Weird. Anyway, this channel, the Irrelevant News channel, does still have the at Def Noodles handle under the channel name as well. So it would seem that Dennis is really the one controlling Pearl, which honestly makes this feel even a little stranger than if he had just sold the channel and somebody else was making this AI. I just find it weird that he put AI Pearl in his place, but I know that he needs to make income from this channel. He was making a ton of money at the peak of this channel but it seems like he probably squandered it on bad investments, like his comedy club getting employees, though he allegedly didn't pay them anyway. And of course, you know, the Coca-Cola issues, well, that'll eat up money very, very fast. And because of all of his online shenanigans, he was apparently deemed unhirable by an employment recorder. This was like, according to a Reddit post from a few months ago. So yeah, why not just kind of rebrand your entire biggest channel, start it off as a faceless AI channel made of the same content that made you successful and got all those subscribers in the first place. No one's going to notice the difference, right? I'm going to guess he can't handle any more public scrutiny, but really needs this income to climb his way out of debt because from what I understand, he's in a lot of debt. Once again, according to old Reddit posts. And I'm going to also assume he just can't handle being on camera at this time. I'm wondering if he's ever going to come back to one of the other channels. Yes, he has so many channels. And maybe explain what he's been doing the past, past few months, rather. If he, like, went to rehab or if he did some kind of inpatient treatment. Because part of what grew his channel was him. That's why his downfall was so shocking to fans. Because they had really built a very serious or what they felt like close, you know, parasocial relationship with him, which he later hardcore rejected. Um, checking the social blade for this channel, you can see when, like, all the other old videos were deleted, but now you can see that there is income being generated by this channel again. So I'm guessing that this is the new Deaf Noodles is AI Pearl. The channel does get comments about this being Deaf Noodles, mostly just shock and confusion, uh, some have also speculated if he did sell it or not, and some have pointed out like, hey, the even the palate cleansers are still happening in this video, so this has to be Deaf Noodles, right? You know, very on brand. Very strange. Yeah, that's kind of it. That's kind of the update. It's just Deaf Noodles is back as an AI bot named Pearl making, I mean, the videos are only like two to eight minutes long, so they're not even very long videos. I don't even think today's video is going to be very long. Anyway, that is it for today's video. If you have not already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully be coming out soon because I'm almost completely done writing it and plan to film it hopefully tomorrow when I have some downtime, but I will be getting this video out very soon. I'm just rambling. I'll see you guys later. Bye!